After the introduction of Arctic's new 600cc SeaTech 2 engine package in the 6000 series El Tigre this winter, the rumor mill has flipped its lid with stories of an all new 800 version apparently coming soon. And while right now I can't confirm or deny these rumors, I can take a good hard look at Arctic's current 800cc two-stroke twin nestled neatly inside this orange and black XF chassis. And look at it, I will both figuratively and literally. Together, we'll check out all the little gems hidden under this sexy plastic, and we'll take a few seconds to drool all over what I feel, at this moment, is one of the best looking snowmobiles ever made. This visual revelation came to me the other day while Mark and I rode down Kevlar Lake. We were in about 18 inches of fresh powder doing 70 miles an hour, and I looked over at him riding the XF800 Limited, and I thought to myself, dang, that snowmobile just looks good. And whether you're an Arctic Cat lover or a hater, you gotta admit, the clean lines, aggressive stance, and understated but striking black-orange fade color scheme has a certain je ne sais quoi, let's say, that just grabs your eyeballs and doesn't let go. Last season, we got all up in Arctic Cat's face because while the XF is a huge improvement over its predecessor, its seat is too low, and it left you feeling all crammed up into the tank. This season, a new taller seat solves all those problems and this XF is an ergonomic pleasure. Unfortunately, I do have two general areas of concern I need to express. One I think could easily be resolved, the other may take more effort, so let's talk about the difficult one first. While it is a huge improvement over Arctic's old F sleds, this XF chassis does exhibit a level of understeer we think needs some improvement. The problem is made worse by a set of anti-darting carbides that come standard on this model. A standard set of single runner carbides improves steering bite dramatically, and the slight trade-off is only a little bit of darting on hard pack surfaces. If you like to pound bumps, it'll be just fine. But if you plan to put big miles on your XF800 in the real world, it would be nice to have the ability to actually adjust compression and rebound and easily adjust preload. Look, I get it. Fox floats are lightweight and they're cool, and these are both good things. The problem is that unless you jump up to their highest end model, you just don't get the ease or range of adjustability you do with a typical coilover setup. And that's too bad because Arctic's double A-arm front end rides great when it's set up properly. I had an epiphany the other day while I stood in the yard and stared at the XF800. I was pondering what possible use that little piece of Lexan mounted on top of the headlight had. I eventually realized it's actually supposed to be the windshield. But come on, that ain't gonna deflect a hummingbird fart, let alone a 90 mile per hour blast of minus 20 Celsius O2. Do I love Arctic's current 800 two-stroke? No. Do I hate it? No, I don't hate it either. I actually respect the fact that it can make such awesome top end power with only a relatively low technology EFI system. To this day, few sleds can keep up with this one at top end, and to some, that's all that matters. Combine this impressive top end power with Arctic's innovative torque control link and the lightweight XF chassis, and you've got a sled that doesn't just go fast, you've got a sled that really does feel fast. And in my opinion, unless you're a person who needs the validation of being the first one at the end of the lake, a sled that feels fast in the seat of your pants is just as important. The longer I do what I do for a living, the more I've come to realize that there will never be one perfect sled for everyone. I've also come to realize that a person's preference in snowmobile doesn't make them wrong. If you like it, then it's right for you. Maybe I don't agree with you, Maybe you don't agree with me. I'm cool with that. With that said, I've been very impressed and pleased with this XF8000 Limited. I put a pile of miles on this one already this season and I can honestly say I've enjoyed almost every one of them. It's fast, it's comfortable. With a set of single runners on these skis, it actually handles pretty good and you gotta admit, it's just darn cool to look at. I can only imagine how much more impressive it could be if those 800 SeaTac 2 rumors turn out to be true.